Hello everybody I wish you a warm welcome to Usatility. Today we are going to discover how to play Starlight Isle on PC, as you can see now you can watch it on screen. It takes almost no time to efficiently download and set up Starlight Isle so that we can enjoy your game on a Windows desktop or laptop with gamer keyboard if we want to, mouse and big screen. So without further ado, let's get to it. First of all buddies, the first thing to do is to open our main web browser. We have here the one we use by default. Let's go to that URL that I'm highlighting in green. There you are seeing it on the screen. There is no need to type it, because there's a clickable link in the description of this video and as well in the first pinned comment. We arrived there on our website of Usatility, where we find here a detailed description on the best way to download Starlight Isle on PC. We browse lower a bit and click on the Download Game on PC button. After clicking on this link, we land here on the website of Bluestacks. No panic, it is just the Android emulator that we will load to get access to the game Starlight Isle on the PC. As you can see here we access some pros of preferring that emulator. Then, we are ready to proceed to download the Starlight Isle by clicking on the button play on blue stacks that I have marked in green. We then click on the button. And the download starts and ends immediately. Here it is, this is the download. It is a file to execute. What we are going to do now is to launch the installer, ok, so we click on the file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to allow changes to the device. We have said yes. I reduce the internet browser to see the installer much better. The installer is quite simple. It consists of two options, install, and setup path. I will explain what setup path does. We simply just click on it. And now we note that we have here the path where in fact the emulator will be set up. If we want to change this folder we must click on the browse option, and now we opt for another folder and set up the emulator precisely where we want. I prefer to keep it where it is. I simply click on back. So I just click install. Voila! The setup starts and it will proceed in the download of these megabytes that happens to be displayed on the computer screen. After you download it, it is likely to be more or less MB. The download speed can be faster or at a lower speed based on your type of connection and depending on the speed of the emulator servers. Right away they are running really fast. The download is completed, then now it proceeds with the installation procedure. The installation will take a little bit more or less time depending on the power of your hard drive, the more powerful it's actually, the faster the software setup time and or vice versa. If we combine the download and software setup step it might take quite a while, so show patience. It has already finished on my side. At this moment, the emulator happens to be launched automatically. As you can observe, at the bottom of the screen, there is a progress bar that will advance to the right and once it reaches the end, the emulator is launched for the first time. The truth is the emulator has been launched, here it is for the first time. Before we carry on, as you will notice, it has created two icons there on the PC desktop. The blue stacks and blue stacks multi instance. Note that the blue stacks icon is going to be the one we are concerned with. When we need to launch Starlight Isle on the laptop or computer, we double mouse click on this particular app icon and as a result run the emulator. The Bluestacks multi instance icon isn't about multiplayer or nearly anything like that, in fact, it's an icon that we will quite likely never start using. Why don't we conduct the next step, which is a must, and this is to access the Google Play Store. As you can observe the Google Play is started. Here we have to sign in. At this time once we are here, we must execute the next step that is definitely mandatory. So we mouse click on, sign in. At this moment it shows, checking info. It can sometimes get stuck in, checking info, that's why it does not move forward. If that's the case, you may try to log in after a few hours it's going to probably be fixed. At this moment we're going to enter our email and password. The email address must be a Gmail email as well as its corresponding password. For example you can utilize the exact same email you're using currently in your own YouTube account. So I will provide my details and I will go back when I have done it. That's all, info entered. Here is Google welcoming us and offering us their terms of service. We are going to say yes to them by clicking, I agree. Following, it make us possible to backup to the Google Cloud. You can leave it selected and it will create a backup of the data on that device to Google Drive. I will not select it, you do what you want. We click on accept. Google Play Store is started by default and automatically. To install the application, we need to go to the emulator desktop for Android by clicking on this app icon marked green colored. Today that we are discovering the desktop of the emulator, we see that we find here the install game option. We click on the button. Right here we have got the game. So let's click now on the install button that I'm presenting now in green. Therefore it will commence the installation. Now it will install the game, it can take a while or it could also be extremely fast. It again all is dependent upon on our own connection to the web. It has by then completed setting up. Back to the emulator desktop by clicking this button that I am emphasizing in green, in order to launch Starlight Isle for the very first time. Let me simply click on the My Games option above. We're now on the emulator desktop, and we're going to just click this new Starlight Isle software icon that has been created. This game app is launched for the first time on your machine. There we end up with it, I can click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. 
I should discuss the volume of the emulator. It is right here. We have the icon of higher volume and the icon of lower volume. This manner we will not depend on the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound of your emulator. As well as to take pleasure in the experience to the fullest, we can turn on the large monitor, for which we have two options. That is actually the first one, we click on this app icon that I am actually designating in green. Then the monitor is maximized, having one border at the top, one at the right and one at the bottom. Assuming that we would like to enjoy the game in full screen, we hit this icon. And we might already be enjoying the game in 100% screen mode. To exit the complete screen mode, press the F11 key. And then we would certainly already be in normal display screen mode. At this moment I am choosing to show you the keyboard mapping which is certainly very interesting. That way we will certainly be ready to utilize the game application a lot more effortlessly. The first thing is to press this app icon. It's now time to make the necessary configurations. I'll go ahead and leave the default settings, but if you desire to improve it, you may very well do so without having problem. As you can notice, the emulator is entirely in our language. Sometimes it happens that your emulator is launched in the wrong language, such as, in Chinese. And therefore to place it in the right language we go here to the cogwheel. Then there within other settings, we just click the, language, drop down. We can choose the language we need, English, Chinese, and so forth. When the language is determined, we could save, the emulator will reboot, and the game application, the next time we use it, would of course be in the opted for language. At this point, you can find another detail that we must take into account, and this is that we will receive a message from Gmail telling you that a new device has been connected with our Google account. It will definitely check with us if we're the individuals who have connected that electronic device. Of course, we really should not get worried, simply because the emulator is simulating an Android device. In order to find which device is being emulated, we come right here, to the cogwheel and we just click on it. And so we browse here to the, model, option. And here we see that the emulator is simulating a Samsung cell phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all guys, so much for the tutorial. I hope you appreciated it, especially that you thought it was useful. If that's the case, bring it a great thumb up, subscribe to my channel, and if you have feedback, questions or ideas, let them in the comment area below. You could even leave a remark on my Twitch channel, I do live streams from time to time, you get it down below in the video description and in the very first pinned comment. Just click on any of those video tutorials that are showing up on the suggestion of videos to watch and let's have fun again in the upcoming training videos. Bye.